Midway through my first year of studying, I decided to take the bold decision to get rid of all this analog note taking technique on the pucker pads and move to a digital world on the iPad. And honestly, the decision changed my life. And I don't say that very often on this channel. But if you're new around here, I'm Dennis, a second year engineering student at Imperial College London. My channel is here to document all the lessons I've learned throughout life and university to give to other students. So if you're interested in productivity hacks, financial tips, and general student advice, make sure you like the video and subscribe down below. And while you're down there, comment whether you prefer handwritten notes or digital note taking. Okay, so the first term of my first year at Imperial College London hit like a truck. I went from doing three intense subjects at A-level to be doing 10 modules of higher intensity at university. If you're an engineering student, you know this pain. And I had to keep all of my notes for each of the 10 modules in 10 different books accompanying 10 different folders. So I struggled big time in the first term of uni and it wasn't rocket science to figure out why. And I saw some of my classmates taking notes digitally on their iPad with a pencil or some even typing it on their computer and I had an absolute brainwave moment. I had a big maintenance loan just sitting in my bank account, losing money every day to inflation. It was locked down at the time, COVID central, I had nothing to do, why not spend? So I did some research and bought the iPad Pro 12.9 inch with the Apple Pencil to accompany it, all on education pricing. Education pricing is where you get 10% off all iPads and MacBooks and you even get, if I can find it, AirPods with it. I mean, I got the AirPods Pro, which I paid a little bit extra money for, but you can get the normal AirPods for free with it. I did some more research between the note-taking apps of Notability, GoodNotes, and Notion, and at the time, settled on Notability, but I'm gonna have a video in the near future talking about why I chose Notability in comparison to the other apps, so stay tuned for that. And literally overnight, my organization improved exponentially. I had all my notes on one app, one device, all backed up to the Google Drive. And with Notability, there was even dividers for each subject, which I'm gonna split screen with me here. As you can see, I can literally split up which subject so I can put all my notes in a neat place that are very easy to find. It was a simple matter of when I went to university, I just bought my iPad. When I went to the library, I just bought my iPad. Everything was on this iPad. I was able to import the PowerPoints into Notability so I could annotate them during the lesson. This was perfect. It increased my productivity. I didn't have to write down everything the lecturer said because some of it was repeated on the slides. I could just add the additional and important information. But without a doubt, the most important thing for me was that it made the learning experience more fun. I don't know what it was, but note taking on Notability felt far more captivating and free. If I made a mistake, I'd either just move it to somewhere else using a lasso on Notability, or just rub it out. Whereas if I note took with pen and made a mistake, I'd have to do an ugly crossing out on it, or my notes were messy, because I'm not usually got the best handwriting anyway, but on Notability, it fixed all that. Provided you get an iPad and not some knockoff Android tablet, your first decision will be which iPad should I go for? I personally opted for the iPad Pro 12.9 inch model. And to be totally honest, it's not necessary you get that model. I've had friends at university fare completely fine using the iPad Air, which is the cheaper model. I just personally went for the 12.9 inch because that means I could duet, I mean, I could use two apps at the same time and even bring in a third one, which would increase productivity as I had a greater screen size to be able to do all this. In my opinion, I think the difference between the iPad Air and iPad Pro won't really be noticeable if you're just using it for studying and not for actual professional reasons. But I'd say the one thing that's good for both models is they both contain the Apple Pencil second generation edition. The first gen Apple Pencil is absolutely horrible. I'm gonna be completely honest with it. You have to plug it into the iPad to charge and then there's no place to store it. You have to actually get a case that's able to store it with the iPad or just literally let it roam free and then just remember where you left it. The second gen Apple Pencil on the other hand is much better. It's magnetic, meaning you can literally clip it to the screen if I can get it like that, perfect. It then charges, you can store it in that way. It's absolutely perfect, you don't have to leave it loose anywhere. I've never had any problems with the Apple Pencil whatsoever. And on long, long revision sessions, my iPad actually tends to run out of charge quicker than the pencil, the pencil can go on for hours. I do want to note though, that an iPad is not necessary to succeed at university. I mean, I have friends that are doing handwritten notes their whole time and they're getting on just fine to be honest. I would say though that if you're generally disorganized, you've got the budget available and you're looking for a new way to spice up your learning, I'd say an iPad to take digital notes would be a good option and a viable option to improve your quality of learning. It has completely changed the dynamic of learning for me and although it was a lot of money, I do not regret buying it one bit. As always, thank you for staying until the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe so you get more student videos straight to your inbox. I've been Denz and I hope to see you a lot in the next video.